ULM has something like a museum for quite some time now. NBC 10's Jada Maloney joins us live in the studio with more details. That's right, Kyla. If you want to learn a little bit of ULM's history or see its significant pieces of work, special collections and archives is the place to go. A hidden gem at the University of Louisiana Monroe is the Archives and Special Collections, located on the fifth floor of the ULM Library. It ranges from old yearbooks, photos, and several publications. Coordinator of Special Collections Heather Pilcher tells us more. It's like a campus museum. I have a lot of uh, researchers come here, and since our stuff is online now, I get more research requests from all over the country. The powwow ULM's original student newspaper was first published in December of 1931. It is a snapshot reflecting the school's history throughout the years and can now be found online. The powwow is our school newspaper before we became ULM and they changed it to the Hawkeye. The first 50 years were digitized a couple of years ago. They go to the Special Collections website on ULM's library webpage. They can access all my digital collections. Also digitized is the Andrew Augustus Gunby Photo and Letters Home Collection. We asked Pilcher what her favorite part of the collections were. For me, it's the photographs. Uh, especially the aerial photos. This is my very favorite because it shows how the university has changed through the year and evolved and grown and expand, you know. Pilcher says that she can only accept small historic donations as special collections and archives keep growing by the day. Reporting live in the studio for your Arklamis News Source, I'm Jade Maloney.